another video. I'm Charlie, and today we're going to be um, resetting my Macintosh Classic. Now, um, for a while now, my Macintosh Classic has started giving me the memory manager error, and I've found on the internet that the only possible solution of fixing it is either replacing the hard drive or reinstalling the OS. So, I'm going to be trying to reinstall reinstalling the OS, and I've already confirmed with my Macintosh SE that I ha have all the programs that I wanted to bring over. And if some of the programs don't work, then it's fine, because um, I could always just get it off the internet and put them on here, because I am working on, emula on, on an emulation device, which I might show you in a different video, but for now, um, it's still work in progress. What kind of saddens me is that, um, is that it, this was the perfect Mac as is, and it had some cool things on it, like house designs and stuff, but it isn't even my, my information, and it'd just be best erasing it, best erasing it anyways. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, unfortunately, um, yeah, so I guess this is goodbye. So, I've already, so I'm going to be going over how, it, how to do this, so... Um, to make it easier for you guys, because if you want a tutorial on how to do this, then you've come to the right place, because this will also be a kind of tutorial, a tutorial kind of video. But yeah, so, I am, right now I am in macOS 6.0.7, 6 and I was going to install a, another OS on this, but I, I only have, um, macOS, um, 6.0.7 available in my possession, so... Yeah, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing it on my computer, if it will. If I can get the screen right. Yeah, that's good enough. Uh, sorry about the screen, I can't really do much about that, but... Anyway, so... That's what we're going to be doing, so... We're going to be reinstalling the software, as sad as it is. And I just really want a working Mac, and this is like the perfect Mac. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's a pretty good Mac, and it has. And it's very, and it's a very, um, and it is very useful. Um, so, but um, it works, and I can get the information from the hard drive. That's how I put it on the SE. But the only problem is that I have to use a system disk when booting it up, which can be very annoying. So that's the reason why I've done this. I have done other videos on about this like getting the information off of it and stuff like that and today we're finally going to be erasing it so SCSI device zero so we are going to installize <sighs> goodbye so I guess this is it no turning back I mean I have I don't have any other options I mean if I don't do this then there's not much else I could do so, yeah, that's it, um, yeah, so, goodbye Macintosh Classic Software. So, yeah, um, so the memory manager error, I was told that if I reinstall the so installize the software and erase everything, I was told that, um, it would work perfectly fine afterwards, so... I'm pretty sure this erases, just erases the disk, and then it won't work, but then I have to reinstall it, so, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. So at the moment, as you can see, it's giving me the spinny wheel, which means it is working. In old, in the old Mac world, the spinny wheel means that it is doing something, or loading, or working on something. In the new world, as you all might know, the spinny wheel means that the Mac is frozen, which sucks when that happens. So, yeah, it is installizing. So what you should, so the way to do this is you have to get a um, Mac OS utilities disk. You should get two disks. And you have to boot it up like it's a regular Mac from the um, Utilities Disk 1. And then you have to go into Apple HD SC Setup. And then you have to press Installize and install the software like so. And it seems to be about almost done. Hopefully. <sighs> Hope I didn't miss anything, because... That would be bad because even the quit button you can't even press at the moment because because it's faded out. So there is really no turning back at this point. Even if I would unplug the computer, it, it, the the only thing you'd probably do would corrupt all the data and make the drive even worse and more and more unusable. 
And, um, so what I actually tried doing was I tried, um, I tried, um, switching the boards in my Macintosh Classic and the floppy drive to the Macintosh SE, because the Macintosh SE is, um, more power, is, is, um, is, works better, and is also does not have, the hard drive does not have an issue. And I was actually thinking about moving the Macintosh SE hard drive to the Macintosh Classic, but I kept swapping around the whole, some of the screw holes didn't match and stuff, and it didn't work, so, yeah. Alright, disk installation successfully completed, so now I should quit. I believe now it should, when I try booting it up without the, um, utilities disk, it should, um, either give me the, um, the question mark, the question mark icon, or the, um, or it will boot into a fresh OS, so let's, let's see, let's see what happens. Yeah, that, there we are. That's what I was kind of expecting. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to do now. Um, disk is definitely gone. So let me let me see what happens if I put the utilities disk in again. What will happen? So now the now the drive is really now the drive is really erased. There's really no turning back now. The entire thing is completely erased. Even the OS is erased. So, yeah. Usually vintage Mac collectors, when they get Macs, they usually erase everything, and if they find some things cool, some cool things like games and programs, they save it and then erase it. But for me, I just kind of get connected, and I like to see what what types of stuff this Mac used to do in its previous life, which makes this which makes this Mac special. And I'm pretty sure this thing was used for home designing designs and gaming, which was pretty cool. But unfortunately. Now it, ha it has none of those things, so as you can see, the hard drive is completely empty. All right. Um, I believe I have to go here now. I don't know. I might have to get another disc. Let me see. What does partition mean? Eh, who knows? I don't think this is the right. Thing. I think I have to, um, I have to reinstall the OS, so I think I need to get a system disk, and then, um, set it up from there, so, yeah, I'm gonna, so, yeah, let me quickly get my system disk, I'm gonna quickly get my system disk, and I just got a whole pile of floppy disks over here, alright, got my disks, um, I have utilities disc two of two. I wonder what I wonder what this disc does, so I'm gonna try this first. So yeah, I'll be back in a sec. So let's get let's do this. So I got the utilities disc two of two. I haven't tried this disc yet. So I'm going to um I'm going to restart the the drop the thing. So it's gonna give me the old disc. I'm gonna plop the new disc in. Alright, new disc has been inserted. Huh. I don't even know what this disk is supposed to be used for. What if I boot off the utilities disk and then put the, um, the utilities disk... Di what if I boot off of utilities disk 1 and then put utilities disk 2 in? Who knows? Let's see. This is kind of just like an experiment. Don't know what will happen, and I don't know what my fate will be. Let me put it a bit down like this so that you can see the floppy drive when I put the disks in. Just so that you know when I put a disc in, because you're probably wondering. Anyhow, anyway. Alright, so I'm going to not erase disc. I already did that. Uh, eject. Alright, got the disc. Let's put utilities disk two in here. All right, let's see. This is pro might be the OS install. I have no idea, but we'll see. Hmm. Ah, oh, I know what this is. This is just different things that c come with Mac OS that you have the option of installing once you have installed the software, so yeah. 
That is not what I'm looking for. Uh, I believe it is the system tools disc, which I have here. Unfortunately, my disc is damaged from an has been damaged from another computer, so I have to take this off. It doesn't affect it at all. It's just I have to be very careful with it. Okay, I have to eject disc first. To be very careful with this system disc, so yeah. Anyway, actually, I'm gonna restart that disc. Put this in. All right, system disk has been put into the computer. It's booting up, cool. I believe this is where you install the OS, so. All right, I think this is where you install the system the Mac OS itself. Yeah, there it is. Installer. That's what we were looking for. Okay. So, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to install this, um, we're going to be installing Mac OS 6.0.8, which is a pretty, which is fine, which is perfect for what I'm going to be using it for, which is mostly games and simple word processing. But yeah, so that's what we're gonna be doing here. Uh, Mac OS six point zero point eight, Macintosh Classic System Software, all printer software. Um, printer software, you know what? Why not? I'm actually thinking about getting a Apple Laser Writer if I can find one. So yeah, we're gonna install. I've already done this with a power with an old power book that I thought had a broken hard drive a dead hard drive, but actually it didn't, which is pretty cool. And it's a PowerBook 180C, which is a pretty, which is pretty cool. It has the, it has the ball, it has the, um, the ball mouse, or the ball trackpad, and it has a color screen, which is pretty cool, and everything works on it, and it's a really cool computer. I have had to, um, install the OS on it twice now, because some, it's, sometimes it hasn't worked properly, so, yeah. Anyway, this may take a while. Well, actually, probably not. Um, dep um, because de I mean, depending on how fa I mean, depending on how fast it goes, I'll probably cut out parts where um, it's um, where nothing happens. But eventually, I will have to be switching discs. So that's when Utilities Disc Two comes in, and the printing tools. Oh, I have to get the, I think I have to get the printing tools. Oh, wait, I have it right here. Printing tools disc I have right here, which is pretty cool. I bought these discs on eBay. I'm pretty sure they are not original. I think they are, um, I think they are, um, re reproduction. I think these are reproduction discs. Yeah, definitely. Um, well, maybe, I don't know, but I don't know if they are or aren't, but, um, to me, they look like um, reproduction discs because of the sticker labels, because they don't look... Hmm. But anyway, so usually when I'm done with the system disc, I like to clip the middle part back on just so that no dust gets in or anything, because dust can damage the, the thing. So utilities disc 2 out of 2. I always wondered what this what utilities disc 2 was used for. And this is probably my first time actually using it for what it's used for. Which is pretty cool. Really hope that this is successful because I really need this computer. It is very important. And it makes no sense for me to have to buy another $50, a new $50 drive for this thing. And I've already spent way too much money on this. I had to repl I had to get the capacitors replaced because six hours after using it, well, after I bought it, it broke, and um, because of the capacitor issue, and it cost two hundred dollars to ship the entire computer in. And um, I really do not want to have to do anything like that again, or have to, or even have to install a new hard drive in this because that's just too much work. But this seems to be working. I really hope I never have to see that memory manager error ever again. So, yeah. Alright, printing tools. Probably the most useless of um, software, for, in, at least in my case.
Okay. And actually, starting to think about it, I think that the um, there is a crack on the top right on the top left corner of the computer in the case, and I don't and I don't remember that originally being there when I bought the computer. So I think that actually was a that crack actually came from the from the shipping. But according to the um, okay, perfect. It is continued. I do not have any additional installations, so we shall quit. I might install, I'm gonna install After Dark on this, but I like to do that separately, because I just wanna see if the computer works first. So, um, according to the, um, to the person who um, fixed my computer, um, apparently they, um, when they received the computer, um, there was a crack in the, in the CRT, or I think it was just the case, I don't know if they said the case or the CRT, but yeah, I think, I think that was definitely from shipping, which is kind of unfortunate, because it is, kind of noticeable but I just I just don't think about it I mean I could I could just replace the front case but it just um, but this is my first ever this was my first ever beige toaster Mac so I just want to keep it how it is I mean it just reminds me of it just reminds me of all this, the trouble I had to go through fixing this thing up and it, it's just a constant reminder that I'll never will never give this thing away no matter what even if I even if I have kids in, in in the future and and they're and and they bribe me to give me their um to give to have to if my kids ever get kidnapped and they demand from this computer and then they'll give me my kids back I will not give my I will not give them this computer because screw that kids are kind of annoying anyway and I and I want this com and this is my this is my um first one of my first ever vintage Macs so this is kind of special this is very special to me. Anyway, let's see if we were successful. It works. It really works. But will it boot all the way? <gasps> it works. Yes. The thing works. Oh, Lord. This is beautiful. I mean, it's all empty, but this is what's what's nice about an empty computer is that there's so many possibilities of what you can do with it. Ah, oh, miss I miss this so much. Ah, oh, yes, everything's working. I have the control panel on this thing. Change the mouse mouse sensitivity. Yeah, there we go. That's so much better. Ah, oh, yes. Ah, oh, rename the I'll rename the hard disk later. It's kind of a boring name though. Oh yes, love it. No more memory manager error for me, boys. It's kind of a useless Mac now because it can't do anything because it has no, n literally nothing on it. There's nothing in the system folder. There are no, there's no applications folder. There is literally nothing on this thing. Eh, it's bad. Um. That was probably its quickest boot of ever I've, I've ever seen it do. No, no, watch that. That was probably the quickest ever boot I've ever seen this computer do. Watch this. It's probably the quickest ever Macintosh classic boot you'll ever see. Look at how fast this is. Look, look at how fast that was. That's faster than the Macintosh 128K. Faster than the Macintosh SE. Well, that's expected because the SE, this is actually supposed to boot faster than the SE, but this is probably the fastest Macintosh boot you've ever seen in your life. Got scrapbook. Pretty nice. Never really figured out how to use this, but it's pretty cool. Um, I believe you copy and paste things into it, but I don't know. I haven't really figured it out yet. Find file, control panel, oh, the control panel. I missed this so much on this computer. And now I can use After Dark because I had to boot this from either my system disk or my um, utilities disk. And it wouldn't let me use control panel or After Dark on it. And I missed using After Dark with this thing so much. Oh, it's so happy to have this back. Anyway, with that success, that will do it for today's video and um, everything else. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe.
comment down below what you want me to do next and donate to my website link in the description below if you have anything like this that you wish to donate um leave um donate it to my youtube channel because the link is in the description i'll be happy to take any um lovely max that you may have and um yeah and i'll see you in the next video goodbye